this moment preparing for tonight's game against the Seattle Mariners. And usually the clubhouse is open to the media in the afternoon. Chris Hoffman went there today to try to get some reaction to this arrest from the players and the coaches. So, Chris, what were you able to find out so far? Well, good afternoon. The Pirates, they're not saying much on this. We just heard from our photographer inside there that Clint Hurdle pretty much stuck to the statement that the Pirates issued earlier this morning. They are blindsided by this whole situation in their statement. They say they were made aware of the active investigation. They say we take this matter and these charges in particularly extremely seriously. We have informed the commissioner's office of the investigation and arrest. The commissioner's office will immediately place Vasquez on administrative leave pursuant to the joint Major League Baseball and Major League Baseball Players Association policy. We need to be respectful to all involved in the ongoing legal proceeding. As a result, the organization, our staff, and players cannot comment any further. Now, again, Clint Hurl pretty much stuck to that is what we're being told from our photographer inside there. The Pirates are already taking no time in taking down Vasquez signs and banners. His banner used to sit right at the corner of Federal Street and West General Robinson Street. Right now, nothing sits there. Right above one of the ticket booths, you can see Vasquez sitting there with the calendar of the baseball season. That too has been taken down. So already the Pirates starting to scrub away his relationship with the team, according with uh, and these allegations causing that to be done. We're live outside PNC Park. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.